So this Atkey is fitted with a Rolls Royce 280. There's only 18 Atkinsons ever produced or Atkey board with, with 280 Rolls in them. It's also the only one ever to leave the Atkinson factory, a 45 tonne tractor. It was specially bought for the NCB Mines Rescue. Look at the size of the springs on the back. That's a 13 tonne Kirkstall axle. It's got quite fast too. Now there were other Atkinsons that were uprated to 45 tonnes, but this is the only one that was actually made specifically for the NCB to tow the emergency winder. You know what, it's lovely jumping back in this Atkin. It's like going into a time warp. So this, like I say, this lorry was specially built for the NCB at Barnsley and was fitted with every option available so it has got the Dunlop Maxarette. So the Dunlop Maxarette was the first anti-skid system so on the prop shaft there's a little sensor that obviously notices if the prop shaft's turning at a different speed so it stops the wheels locking it up and it does actually work. It has a warning light which was novel for an Aki back in the day. It's got diff lock and it's also got sun visors. Now the passenger one's not in because I never finished that myself and I've still got the hinges at home. So just popped in for a brew. I thought I'd show you a few more little bits of literature and some photographs that I've got of the truck back in the day. Working drawing from the specification for the truck. Sorry about the washing machine. So you can see here the weights. It was grossed out at 36 tonnes or 37 metric. Now the lorry was never actually plated above 32, but I'm sure an emergency wider, no one would ever actually question it. Somewhere I do actually have a colour photograph of this one. Uh, this is when it was first finished. This is a Peter Davis photograph. So you can see there with the one unit on the back. Here's a working shot of it, working one of the NCB Foddens as well with the generating pack for when it was using an emergency. See some proud men here look, stood with the, with the Atkey. When you go to a lot of local shows in Yorkshire, there's always somebody having some connection or remembers this Stopped truck. It was used about uh, 1991, I think, 92. It was sent to Arlington Bywater and that's where this, was, this photograph was taken. So that's a normal 32 tonne with a 220 rolls in it. And there, there they laid for a number of years until... A chap called Johnny Murphy managed to buy it from a scrapyard. It was going to be scrapped. And uh, I have actually got some footage of it when Johnny was playing about with it, with the two tone horns on and everything else. It's, uh, it's a lovely bit of footage. So we owe a lot to Johnny Murphy for saving wagons. You can just see there the double pivot in fifth wheel. So the Cat 3 fifth, fifth wheel. So it did actually have a different size pin on. So they didn't really use it on general haulage because it was a, a bit of a buy and they used to have a special adapter to put onto normal trailers. This is an original trailer I found at a show many years ago. So they use it for steam engines now. We did say it's very difficult um, to get the neck back on because it's so tight because it's never actually been dropped off. So here we see another photograph of the normal 32 ton Atkis. Now all Barnsley trucks were all stipulated to have a Rolls Royce engine. You can see this one's before it actually got converted to Mines Rescue because it's got the holes in for the for the lights. I don't know if you remember me saying, but there was 18 produced for the 280 Rolls Royce. And it was not till I found this photograph that I realised that Barnsley actually had two 280 Rolls Royce. So I've got a few photographs of 280 Rolls powered Atkins. As part of the Mine Rescue team, they also had these. These were the generating units to carry the generators to drive the big winding unit on the back. So how I know the chap at Barnes have really liked Rolls Royce. This photograph here, the NCB at Carcroft, had two eight-wheeler Foddens with 180 gardeners in. They had two eight-wheeler Foddens with Rolls 220s, and they had two Atkis with 220 Cummins in. Yeah, they, uh, they took off the tipper bodies, had them sent away, and then converted into uh, the generating unit. So I'm guessing that they really did like the Rolls Royce because why choose them? Why you maybe choose an Atkey because they really did like Atkeys obviously as well at Barnes the main. So this chap here, that's a chap called Dave Seagraves and this was his Atke and he absolutely adored this Atkey. He loved it to bits, but it used to give him bad back. He used to get a horrific bad back from it. So when these trucks were tippers, if you look inside the cab on that one, you see how low the seat is? Side of this passenger seat. It's because Dave had it taken out and put in his beloved Atkey. So if you have any own memories about the Atkey, comment below for me, please. Right, let's go out and get it on the road. Right, it was only apt to do a bit of jiggery pokery and go back to 1975. Mm -hmm. 
So for those of you screaming saying you don't need a clutch to drive a Road Ranger gearbox, this is <laughs> our wagon and if we break it we have to mend it. So that's one reason I use it and the other is I'm not that professional a driver. With a Rolls Royce engine, the roads drop off real quick and you can get a nice quick change. We've made it, we're there. Do we have many crash gears, Dave? No, not many. This is what we've come for this trailer. She's looking good, she's looking good. Not that you can see, we had a lovely view of the upper bridge from where we were. I did suggest us going over it for a bit of content, but Dave went to keep. It was quite interesting actually to watch a bit of a slow mo me changing gear. You see, I did, never realised actually to let go of the gear stick in between halfway through the change, but it seems to work for me anyway. <laughs> Thing is, this lorry. Going and going and going. The engine has a completely different tone when it's really pulling. And it's a nice little difference and the ride's obviously 100 times better with that trailer on. So I'm going to do a bit of reversing. Over the donkey jacket. Safely stowed away. And that is that. Nothing like the sound of that kid off looking. So if you enjoyed that video, please hit the like button for me. And if you enjoy the content that I do on this little channel, please follow me. Thanks for watching, people.